Hey there, in this video, we're going to look at how the y-intercept this time affects a line when you graph it. So looking at something in the format y equals mx plus b, how does that b affect the graph? So as a reminder, y-intercepts are um, the point or points that intersect the uh, y-axis when you're looking at a graph. So for a line, there's only going to be one um, y-intercept. It is a function. There's only one spot where it crosses that y-axis. So that is your y-intercept. So in this case, that would be the ordered pair, 0, comma, negative 1. And if I were to write the equation of this line, which we'll talk about in the future, uh, the b-value comes from the number that um, the line crosses on the y-axis. So the b-value here would be that negative 1 from that y-intercept. So in that equation, again, the b represents the y-intercept of the line. So let's talk about how a y-intercept affects the graph. So if I think about an xy coordinate plane, um, there are four rules of thumb to keep in mind when you're determining the impact of B, when you're trying to figure out, um, for example, a multiple choice question where I might ask you, I might give you an equation and say, um, find the correct graph with these four multiple choice options. So you can rule things out by thinking about um, the value of B. So if B is positive, that means that the graph will intersect the Y axis above the x-axis. So that means that wherever the line is, it's going to cross the y-axis above this x-axis. So if this is my x-axis, it's going to cross somewhere above, somewhere up here. And that's, again, if the y-intercept is positive. Now, if the y-intercept is negative, it's going to cross somewhere below the x-axis. Now, the y-intercept doesn't matter um, or doesn't indicate whether it is a positive slope or a negative slope, but it just indicates where it is going to cross the y-axis in reference to the x-axis. So in this case, either one of these examples would have a negative y-intercept, a negative b-value, which indicates that it crosses below the x-axis. Um, it's just the slope is going to tell you something else about that line. Now, if the B value is zero, that's going to indicate that it crosses at the origin because that is the only place on the X axis or on the Y axis that has um, a value of zero. So again, if we um, know that the graph crosses, um, or I'm sorry, if we know that the equation has a B value of zero, that means it crosses the graph or the uh, y-axis at the origin of 0, 0. And then finally, we talked about this briefly in the previous video, but if uh, the b value for looking at this, um, the larger the absolute value of b, the further the y-intercept will be from the x-axis. So we used that word absolute value a little bit in the last video when we were talking about slope. Similar concept here in terms of absolute value means just ignoring the sign, the plus or minus sign. So the absolute value of B is um, referencing, for example, if we had a B value of 2 that we wanted to compare to a B value of negative 7. If I look at the absolute value of B in each of these cases, it's going to be the positive version of those numbers. So positive 7 and positive 2. And that's going to tell you um, where it is in reference to the x-axis. So, for example, if we have a um, B value of negative 7, that's going to be further away from the x-axis than a B value of 2. So even though one of them is negative, one of them is positive, we can compare the positive versions to see that negative 7 is going to be further away than 2 um, in reference to that x-axis. So that can help with ruling out or eliminating answer choices, especially I would say these first three can come in handy. If you know B is positive, um, you can rule out any graph that has an, a y-intercept that is a negative value below the x-axis or vice versa for negatives. Or if you know it's zero, then there's only one spot that it can cross the y-axis. So let's take a look at these four equations. So we have four equations graphed here, um, number one, two, three, and four, and they are labeled equation one, equation two, three, and four. And you see the point in red, that is your y-intercept, and you see in the equation plus b or minus b, 
um, that number there. And I want to point out that in your graph, and we'll get into actually graphing by hand um, in the upcoming videos, but in your graph, your B is going to match your y-intercept in the graph and your b in the equation. So for example, we see in this one b equals 3. We see 3 is where equation 1 crosses the y-axis. Here, b is equal to 1 for y equals mx plus b. So 1 is the place where equation 2 crosses the y-axis. b equals negative 0.5, negative 1 half. Um, that is where equation 3 crosses the y-axis. And then b equals negative 2, that's where equation 4 crosses the y-axis. So that b tells us exactly where the graph crosses the y-axis. So remember that a y-intercept is the point where a graph crosses the y-axis, and it's always 0, comma y or 0, comma b. The b value in y equals mx plus b always represents that y ax or that y intercept which is the point where it crosses the y axis and that's how it affects the graph so if it is a positive b it will intersect up here if it's a negative b it will intersect down here and if b equals 0 it will intersect right here 